The Clarence Fitzroy Brand College is hosting a research symposium from June 4th to the 5th under the theme, Research for Development. Dr. Leighton Arrain, Director of Employee and Program Development, explained what the symposium will entail. The research symposium under the theme of Research for Innovation and Sustainable Development uh, under various sub-themes, one of it being agriculture and food security, we have um, creativity and the performing arts, innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship. We also have quality assurance. We also have teacher education. We have uh, energy and the environment. But basically, um, it's all encompassing, covering a wide area or sort of the scope of what the college does, because we are sort of a community-based uh, type of college in which we serve um, all the sectors of the economy. We provide that kind of service. And so we have a wide range of programs at the college. And from each of those program areas, we try to bring topics and um, research on those topics. Dr. Narain lauded the quality of the presenters scheduled for the symposium, including Jihan Williams, who will be speaking on the importance of intellectual property as it, as it relates to research and development. Under the sub-themes, food security. We have um, topics on that. We have topics on the environment, such as air pollution, water pollution. We have innovations in the use of sargassum seaweed uh, for growing plants. Um, uh, we have um, health, uh, health and wellness, that's another sub-theme. And we have uh, a faculty member and a student who will be presenting from that, from that faculty here at CFPC. Uh, we, have, um, we also have uh, things to do with um, TVET. One has to do with... Um, a business plan in agricultural studies. A person was presented a, build, a business plan because we talk about entrepreneurship and, and building livelihoods and, and, and businesses and uh, within all within the school environment, but more from a practical side or an industry side. We also have um, a student who will be presenting some kind of artwork, uh, creative designs in um, African style hats. Uh, we'll be presenting that uh, concept at the symposium who has come up with actually a business idea and has actually developed a business out of it through, um, through whatever they have learned at the college and from their own experience. So, um, so yes, we have a wide range of uh, projects to look at. We also have a student, a group of students who had uh, entered a design contest, um, a design contest where the, the presentation went to Dubai to design the pavilion for St. Kitts and Nevis at the World Expo 2020. That's coming up uh, next year. And so um, they'll be presenting their design concept and showed how they uh, came up with that idea, how the process that they went through and the output that they have. So yes, we have a wide range of, range of topics. I cannot possibly mention all of them now. Meanwhile, Dr. Narain stressed that this symposium would be focused primarily on the students and will be significant in the conveyance of knowledge and information within the education system. It is important because uh, every year students are required to do, um, uh, you know, some form of research, a student-based research project for the, whatever program they're in, not only for the Caribbean Examinations Council at the CAPE level, but for our in-house programs like capstone projects and so on. And, and so we want to have, we want to be able to see what they're presenting, make comments from a wide cross-section of the population at various levels, so we can up the, the, the standard of this, the research. We start here and then we can build on this because we want to catalog that research, the research that is coming out now. We want to catalog that so students in the future can reference that. The research symposium will begin at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, June 4th at CFBC in the Nathaniel John Hospitality Conference Room. I'm Andre Huey for SKN Newsline.